All right, now it's time to learn some tools in MS Excel. So Excel is not just all about functions or formulas. It also has some tools that are pretty helpful when you need to process some data in your worksheet. So for the first one, for example here, we have names under column A. By the way, I, uh, I am in the file data management. Kindly go to TC1. So this should be available as a download in the resources of this course. Now you go to TC1 and let's say under column A, you need to separate the last name and the first name into two columns. So as you could see, data in cells A2 onwards contains names that contains both last name and first name and we need to separate them into two columns. Now there is a formula for this but it's going to be a tedious or longer formula. So Rather, maybe you could use a tool in Excel that can do this, and that is text to columns. So first, highlight your data, like what I did, A2 to A25. Please do not include cells that you don't intend to separate. So as you could see, I did not include the title in cell A1. Just highlight the data. Then, go to the Data tab, and then under the Data tab, go to text to columns so you should find something like this on the right side of the tab and then you are given two options here delimited or fixed width as the instruction tells us use delimited if there are characters such as commas or tabs that separate each field on the other hand if you don't have any delimiters or those characters that separate the values then you could go for fixed width now what we need here is delimited because we have last name and first name separated by a comma. So we'll go for delimited then click next. Step 2 of the text to columns wizard asks us what is the delimiter? What is that character that separates the last name and the first name? And as you could see tab is checked by default. We will uncheck that. We do not have any tabs separating our data rather we need the comma checked because it's comma that separates our value note you have other options here you have semicolon you have space you even have other just in case the list or the the indicated delimiters here are not enough for your data so you could always use this box here to indicate what separates your data so for now I will go for just comma because I don't have anything else separating my data and then click next now the last part may look complicated but actually what you need to focus here is the destination field in what part of the worksheet will the data appear or show up the last name and the first name columns should start appearing at this cell B2 so all you have to do is remove whatever is written there by default then just click the very first cell where the data will populate click finish and there you have it you now have the last name and the first name separated into two columns as you could see in our demonstration here